Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions. Today we're going to be talking about tiers three, uh, tier three. Uh, I, we've had, this is the third part of the series of tier lists from tier one and tier two. Um, the last couple of days we've been talking about what's tier one and what's tier two, which was quickly recap. If you haven't watched those other videos, I would encourage you to go and watch those, um, first before watching these because I don't want to have to repeat too much of what I said before but essentially the top t top the top tier uh, characters in the game are characters that can basically stand alone by themselves uh, that are great in a pinch they can basically do anything they want they can be put with whoever you want and they do very very well uh, that's basically that top top tier we basically top two uh, the second tier is kind of defined as uh, characters who are good characters, but really kind of need someone else to shine. Um, those characters are once again, standalone characters that have teamed with someone else do very well. Um, they, they're good by themselves and they shine and do very well when paired with someone else. Once again, uh, we talked about them, Venomate and, you know, Kara is a top tier character. Venomate is a tier two character, which is great with Kara, but by himself, He's okay, but he's not, he's not great, but he's a, he's actually one of those ones where by himself, he's probably more like a tier three character, but because when you put him with Kara, he becomes a tier two character and he really shines revel and Snorri. I think both of them are tier two characters stand alone by themselves. But then when you put them together, they're very, very good. Let's move on to tier three characters. And this is where we're going to get probably some, you know, I think we're going to get some blowback a little bit. I think that Mar, uh, Mar and Corcoran both are tier three characters. Uh, the reason for that is Mar is so slow. He, it, his whirlwind ability essentially takes four turns to get to. And in this game, in a turn meter game, four turns can be an eternity against someone else. Now, obviously he's not a particularly fast character. Uh, if I don't, I don't remember what his base speed is off the top of my head, but I, he's not particularly fast. Uh, and so because he's not fast, uh, he, he takes a lot to get going and because he takes a lot to get going, he just, he can get killed before ever really getting off, getting off the field or, uh, you know, and so that, that puts him in a tier three category. Now you need him, you need him. That's, that's the difference though. That's the problem with Mar is that you need Mar uh for solius you absolutely do need him for solius and so you have to level them up you have to put in the time um i think most of the orcs besides trumgar and hard orc are basically th tier three characters um corcoran i believe is a tier three character uh, the reason for this is that standalone by himself all right he doesn't have a a ton a ton to work with um uh, you're looking at him, his base speed, his base speed is 132. He is faster. That's true. Um, he can be sped up so he can, he's faster than, uh, the base speed of Mar, which I believe is like 110. It's not particularly, it's, 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 it's smaller, but he applies a lot to debuffs. And so unless you're, um, unless you're running, you know, high potency sets and that sort of stuff. You're going to, you, if you run high potency sets, you'll be able to land your stuns and that sort of thing. He does get, you know, 30% potency here, but what makes him shine is putting him as a trump guard lead and he gets him a lot. You get a lot of potency with a trump guard lead and that sort of stuff, but he has to be with other orcs because of this, right? He get he gets and an extra 5% for each living orc, right? He gets 30% on his own, which is not bad, but, he really shines when you have all the orcs in the party. Um, and so that kind of, kind of relegates him to a team. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. So you have, you really want to put him with other, with other orcs. Can you plug and play him? Sure. But is he better than, is he better than Freezard? No, no, he is not. Uh, and that happens to do with the fact that he has two basic abilities, uh, he has one basic ability, he has two single target abilities, and one, and uh, and and one AOE that hits everybody. Uh, 
And so it does have, you know, he deals 30% to, to a damage. If the target is stunned or burned, all enemies will be dealt 100%, uh, an additional 100% magic damage. I mean, that's really good. Um, but once again, they've got to be stunned. they got to be burned. Um, he can put those debuffs on, but to be able to land those debuffs, he's going to probably either have to have a huge potency set on him or Trump Guard lead. So that's kind of what makes him... Uh, more of a tier three and you know he it's arguable that you could be tier two but i think he's a tier three character rantha i i you know she you would think that she'd be really really good um uh, i i found that you know she's not bad i mean she is an orc leader but she may not even be the best orc leader she may not even be the best clan leader uh to be perfectly honest uh, i know she has the clan uh leadership that's really really good but when you come right down to it are you going to end up using her just for her leadership probably not she does give you the ability to drop battle poo but battle poo just doesn't have enough health um you know she only gets 80 percent of her health right well, you have to put a bunch of health on her. You got to gear her up. Uh, but I, and she's relatively quick, but by herself, it seems like she's just not doing enough. Yeah, she can do physical damage. She does all right, but it's, you know, she's got this signature with Battle Poo when he's alive, but he's squishy. So she goes down and she doesn't do as much. Her AoE is kind of cool, um, but, you know, for PvP purposes, you know you're you're probably not ever going to use her because they're just other characters that are so much better now can you use her on you know in the raid and that sort of stuff yeah i mean you can uh but once again battle poo might when i try to use her in the raid battle poo gets one shot by everything um but once again my gal is not leveled up she's not geared up but i don't i don't there's so many other characters i'd rather be leveling but you do have to get her up uh you do have to get her at least to gear eight you need to get her abilities up to at least gear five um because you're gonna need her uh i'm not planning on using her to get solius at seven stars i have a different strategy in mind uh, but i am still going to get her to gear eight just in case but i think that she's a tier three character uh, for those reasons let's go back and look at some other tier three characters as well alara i think is a tier three healer um the reasons the reasons are pretty clear i think that she you know she has to she gains magic damage and additional for each living elf in the party anytime you have to stack up a bunch of elves or a bunch of orcs or a bunch of pandas that tends to bring you lower down on the tier list uh, she has two heals right one but it, once again it's the lowest health enemy gains 50 percent of the damage dealt it's not even it's only 50 percent of the damage it's not 100 percent of the damage it's not 200 percent of the damage not 75 percent of damage it's 50 percent. it just doesn't do unless you jack her magic damage up um she just isn't doing a whole lot she, her heals allies only for 350 percent other healers such as xantara uh and and solius do so much more healing than she does that's what makes her i mean ultimately for her she's one of the thing one of the characters you start off with in the game and she's just you know she's just not good you're gonna need her though you're gonna need her for ember um so i have been working on her i've got her to year eight uh, she's level 64 i'm leveling up her abilities uh but i think that i'm gonna be focusing on leveling up her heal because i'm gonna need the heal probably more than anything else um and then probably also you know this as well i'm um, probably going to need to level that up all the way as well and so you know her heal her heal and her uh her passive ability are going to be necessary for that but she's still a tier three character it's a little sad i think because most i think most of the elves are tier three type characters or you know even tier four characters um and we'll talk about them too sharp um sharp doesn't isn't a great character he 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 does do he deals attacks three times 50 percent of each physical attack each time it's not bad um he's not bad he's actually really good against he's really good 
against the dragon in in the last phase of the of the uh, of the raid because if he can hit three times he can remove those scales from the dragon um, and that's really nice so he's not a bad character to level up but you need him for ember and so i am going to be investing in some of him as you can see i'm gonna need abilities and that sort of stuff so um next weekend uh, this week's farm uh for abilities and that sort of stuff next weekend's farm i think we have essentially two weekends uh, before she comes out, which is going to give you ability scrolls. Hopefully, they'll make some do some ability scroll offers. And I've got it. I'm gonna. He is one that I plan on investing more into his DPS. But he is a tier three character. I mean, he's not going to be running around the meta. He's not going to be used in tournaments uh, as much. You know that sort of stuff. You can't. You're not going to just plug and play him. He's more of a character for. Um, he's more of a character that you'll use. Uh, in the raid. Let's see here. Uh, it's kind of hard. Tier three and tier four. Once again, Kagi's kind of a tier three character. He's but he's got synergies with Bori, who's not even in the game yet. Um, and so who knows what's going on? We don't know what Diesel Rock, um, and Ember are going to do. Um. All right, we don't know how that's that's going to work out, how that's going to change, whether they're going to be great plug-and-play characters or if they're going to be lower on the tier list. Um, you know, Eric Shieldbreaker's tier three. He can work well in a human group if you put him in with humans. Darian, you know, he's more... Yeah, he's just not good. I mean, he's one of, another one of those. I think he's a tier three, maybe even a tier four character. Uh, Kelvian, uh, he's... He could be tier three or tier four. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's kind of hard when we get to this point. I mean, they can be interchanged tier three, tier four. Major shot. I mean, he's actually not a bad plug and play character. Um, but the reason why he's slow, he then that's part of the reason why he's down on the list. Like, he has some great abilities. He can really counter healers and that sort of stuff, and blindness and healing a million healing block for two turns. Um, but he is so slow, it takes a long time to get there. Um, when you see him being used, it just takes a long time. Sergeant Pigwall is kind of the same idea. It just takes a long time to get you, you know, to get there for his charge ability to get all the way charged so he can start hitting people hard. Um, and so that's that's kind of what we're looking at. Is it just it takes it takes too much time for him to be charged. Um and that sort of stuff. All right, increasing damage by three times. All right, you're looking at 260% of physical damage with the two lowest health enemies, right? I mean, that's it's good, but it takes time to get going. And then, of course, he has he is he does a lot of damage, but once again, he has the each goblins in the party, and so he just kind of ends up being lower on the uh, lower on the the rung for me. Um, and then, of course, you know you have the lock and loaded. Uh, you know, he gains charge for two turns, uh, and it can't be removed or anything, but it takes, it takes at least three turns before you can even do it. And then when he finally does, uh, is able to go, it just, it's a lot like Mar in that way. It just takes too long, takes too long to be good. Um, you know, if you're doing, if you're taking three or four turns before you start doing something, it just takes too long. Um, and they tend to be slow. Like he's got a, his base speeds and 119, uh, or his base speeds 89. Sorry, he's just so slow. It just takes forever to get him going. Um, Mars 119 his base speed, and so he's just slow too. Uh, if we're looking at other characters, I, you know, I kind of think in at this particular point, I be, I went through and I kind of put, you know, this person's kind of in this tier and this person's kind of in this tier. If you're looking at the rest of the characters in the game, Old Lord, Robin, Bad, uh, pick one. I mean, pick a tier. I mean, I don't think that they're they they're, they could be good in a human group, um, or maybe an under a Solius lead or, or something like that. Kelrion, once again, I mean, you're gonna need him to get Ember. That's why I'm working on him. Um, you know, got him to gear eight, but I have none of his abilities, but he's, he's got an AOE, you know, he's got an AOE throw that does decreases armor. 
All right, the game's magic armor, so I mean he's good against he's good against magic. Um, but you know his taunts first turn, which is always good, removes TD buffs, recovers twenty five percent health. That's not bad. Um, and then you know guaranteed uh, damage uh, to land a critical hit on the lowest uh, health target. Not bad, but it means you kind of you're you're forced to do stuff. The, the, instead of you working the character, the character's working you, um, and that's why he's you know tier three, tier four um, characters. I mean, they have viability maybe at other places, but it's not. <clears throat> excuse me, it's not great. Um, they're not particularly great. So, I, um, Amara, I have no real experience with, but once again, um, you know, you're talking about you're talking about goblins, Sh Shaolin, right? Any character who does multiple attacks per turn, all right, attacks three times, deals 140 damage of each physical attack. It's really, really good. Um, seven strikes, the same type of things. Attacks random enemy targets seven times each dealing 100 percent. these are this, she's really good for the for the dragon right you can bring off those steel scales really really fast um but if you're talking about trying to be pvp worthy and you're trying to get into the meta i mean she's not going to do you a whole lot of good in that regard and then if you want to level her up to be able to do use her in, on a pve team for the raid i mean that might not be a bad way to go but you have a lot of characters to level bef before you get to her same with meat wheel all right very interesting character um you know very interesting character with the cheat death mechanics um that he has all right it, you can increase you know he gains increased in, uh damage for each living demon in the party right i mean if you want to have a full demon team he's certainly certainly could be fun to use um you know i think he has a cheat death mechanic as well yeah he gains cheat death for two turns and um, removes two debuffs recovers 25 percent of his health which is kind of cool um uh, but yeah once again you're looking at why would you use him when you could have somebody like ken lee or trom guard right if you're looking at Trumgar, you're looking at Kinley, they're just much better. Or even Salvador, right? Um, are you really going to put him in a full demon group? Maybe. Maybe you could do that. Maybe you couldn't. Uh, I don't know. Vorian the Trickster. Eh. Doesn't have multiple attacks. Um, does have poison, right? So, I mean, he might be able to synergize better with, um, you know, applying poison and that sort of stuff with Venomate. But, once again, he doesn't, just doesn't really get, get you going. Um, I actually have him leveled up, um, and I shouldn't probably have done that, uh, but for whatever. Uh, so that's kind of it. I mean, that's really kind of it. Uh, I don't really know what else to tell you about some of these other characters. Maybe you guys can tell me uh, if you've been using Eric Shieldbreaker. I don't think he's particularly good. Robin the Bad, he's got a great, his basic is pretty cool. It, it ignore, ignores dodge. Um, he ignores dodge. He has the ability to gain counter attack counter attack to humans and plus five you know he gains counter attack and plus five for every human in the party so i mean he also can give you know apply buffs to everybody but he just doesn't seem to have the oomph that he needs he his if his yo mama skill hit everybody that would make him probably more of a tier five character but his basic does you know decreased turn meter which makes him good for the raid um and then it can't be dodged and so that's that's pretty good as well so i mean a lot of the tier three tier four characters for this particular thing are going to be good in the raid you're going to have to look at them see how well they do in the raid um do they remove turn meter can do they not um you know master duo i think is another turn meter um removal specialist his he has abilities to remove turn meter let's go back I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is doing this. There we go. Wow, it's really being laggy. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So, all right. He gains Berserk Tance, you know, gains Counter Strike. Um, All right, initial cooldown. He can do this right at the beginning. 
he has the ability to affect turn meter and slow on his basic. Great for great for meat wheel. Um, you know, for being able to use meat wheel. But right, are you do you need to if you do you want to focus on him right now or do you want to focus on other things? You know, so you can get in the meta. Or right? I that's kind of why I think he's a th tier three character. Obviously, there's characters that you want to raise up so because they do well in the raid. Um, but then you also want to be able to say, okay, well, how am I going to do in these tournaments? How am I going to do in these uh, in the PvP and arena and tower? Right. Uh, and I think that that's kind of the way to go. So. Let me know what you think on this. Uh, these are my tier lists. I, I know I eventually, I think I eventually said in my first video, this is going to be a tier list of, you know, one, two, and three, uh, four tiers. I think that it is probably are four tiers in this game. Um, but I think that it three and four, you can, they're kind of interchangeable. Obviously, some characters do be better in some areas, like such as the raid and that sort of stuff. I will be doing somewhat of a raid guide, but I'm not sure I know what I'm doing yet. Oh, you know, in the raid, as you can you guys can see, our my guild is doing raid six. Or doing, um, it's doing uh, the raid six. I am at the top currently of my of of my team, just behind a few people. I've done all my attacks. Um, obviously I think I would do better if I had some term meter removal, some, some of the things like that, but I don't, uh, so that's kind of what's going on there, but we can do a raid guide here. Once I get more of a, more of an understanding on what, what to do. I think a lot of people are like me where they focused on, you know, PVP and the tournaments and that sort of stuff and the raid they're doing the raid. Uh, but it's a full effort. Uh, it's a full group effort. And I think that that's what's going on uh there i think more people have more of the characters that i would have than they would have say some of these tier three tier four characters that you need for the for the for the raid that are just only good in the raid and so i think that's going to be a little bit of time there so hopefully you like this video i'm sorry that it, they've kind of gone a little bit longer but i hope that gives you the information if you do like this video please drop a like on it hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect